All right, so I've been sitting here a little bit thinking how best to do this, and uh, I figure I'll just go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, I have the Pine phone uh, sitting up here, which I'm SSH'd into. It's a new image I'm working on. Uh, it's got, uh, really I was just kind of focused on SDR++ and uh, Sig Digger right now. It's got GQRX on it, of course, GNU Radio, I think actually 3.10. Just kind of messing around with it. And so I've got it sitting here with the um, the hub that comes with it. It's wired into a local network here. Uh, it's got the uh, hotspot turned on. Let me think. It's got a HackRF plugged into it and a Lime SDR. Uh, I haven't checked this out before the video, so uh, hopefully, well, if this is posted, it must have worked. But uh, And then I have the Samsung S20 uh, here, which is plugged into Dragon OS, and I'm just using uh, this uh, screen copy open source application to screen share. The Samsung is connected wirelessly to the Pine phone. So the, so the Pine phone is going to run the SDR server and the Sig Digger server, hopefully, simultaneously, sharing the HackRF and the Lime SDR um, either over Wi-Fi uh, to the Samsung phone or a wired to uh, Dragon OS here. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. I figured I'd show a couple things at once. Um, so let's see. Over here on the phone, which I'm, I'm going to actually need to... Open. I'm going to open two windows to the to the uh, Pine Phone. Oops. Default username is Mobian. Password one two three four. And in one window, let's try this out. We'll start up as. DR++ server. Maybe not. Let's see, I don't know that maybe it doesn't like the line. Let's see. Go ahead and move the Lime SDR out for a second, and that very well could be, I don't know, because it's USB 3 and I don't have the Pine Phone Pro. Let's plug in our RTL SDR. So we'll have the RTL SDR and the HackRF. Now, obviously, SDR++ doesn't have an issue with the Lime SDR because I use it on Dragon OS, but... Alright, so now we've got the RTL SDR and the HackRF plugged in. Being served up by Linux on the Pine Phone. And let me see here, I'll make note of that IP address is, of course, uh, coming from the local... Uh, hotspot on the pine. Let's see. Go here. It's a brand phone. We've got SDR running an Android. I'll turn the phone sideways. Let's see a little better what's going on here. And let's try and connect to something here. SDR server. That is a zero-tier IP, I like a VPN. One. Get this thing out of the way. Let's see. Oops. Okay. All right. Since we're connected. So, 
now we're looking at the Samsung phone connected and let's try the hacker F just trying to think through that let's see okay and let's try this again but let's Trying to see here. What I may need to do is Uh, let me see how best to do this. Um, cause sometimes soapy. I think that's what's going on. Okay, so what I did was deleted the uh, SOAPY source out of the module man manager because uh, the HackerF module and the SOAPY module uh, don't, I don't think get along. Let's see, we'll connect again. HackerF, all right. And there we go. We're connected now. Keep in mind, we're, I, I don't know about the Wi Fi uh, on the point. Let's see. Try int date, do compression. There we go. Now, obviously, that uh, audio, actually, I think the audio is coming out of the. Yeah. Still coming out of the phone. I thought it was going over there. Okay. So I'm going to turn that down. That's just showing the Hacker F being streamed from the Pine phone over to Wi Fi with SDR server to Android. So we got Android and Linux here talking. Uh, all right. Let's minimize. Oh, let's we'll come back over here. So the other thing we need to do on the Pine phone, we'll go to user source BSL. D dash directory sig digger and we want to take a look at SUS CLI list and we're going to make profile let's see what we see okay so it sees the RTL SDR because it's not in use that's this is on the, the pine phone and so now we'll do dev serve half equals zero to zero to zero. Oops. Uh, 
because I, it's not installed in the bin directory or anything. It's just right there. We'll do for dot forward slash. Okay, so it's serving that up. Something else I want to show um, real quick is um, I'll do this on Dragon OS too. So on Dragon OS, if you go to user source directory and you do sudo bsld, I've left this here. This is a script. You run it, and it will on Dragon OS. Everything's already there. It'll it'll rebuild. Sig Digger from the uh, development branch, so there, there could be some things that are untested and the half implemented features, like it says there. But uh, that's one thing that you can do to update Sig Digger on Dragon OS. And if you do that, you most likely are going to need to update it on the other end if you're looking to do a, rem uh, a server client setup. Now, I should have both of these just recently, I think this morning or so, updated. Both of these to include uh, on. The, maybe let's see I'll cut some of this out it doesn't take but a second to build um, so we'll we'll build it just to make sure and then uh, I'll be back in just a second all right I'm back sig diggers rebuilt and that was just uh, in this directory running the script that's I've left in there that uh, can also be done on the pi there's enough RAM there on a four gigabyte pi four uh, to run that to completion. So, anyways, let's move that out of the way for a second. Over here, we want to run the dev serve. Oops, let's see. Oh, Sig Digger. We want to run this. And so now both those tabs and the windows here this is all running on the pine phone so now we're running the sig digger server at the same time we're running or yeah the sig digger server at the same time we're running the sdr plus plus server come over here under dragon os look under ham radio go sig digger now on sig digger i should already have under gui behavior Enable, I have uh, Enable Open G, uh, GL. I guess you can get more performance too with Enable Max Blending. And so what we want to do is we're going to connect to both here at the same time. We'll come to Source, we'll change that um, VPN IP to, I think, 114 and just so you know this has been running this whole time and hasn't lost connection on the wi Pines Wi-Fi with the um, Android connected and so let's see we've got a connection here we can see so I see the um, the s speed or the bandwidth maybe is uh, slowing down here a little bit uh, well actually I don't know I don't know why it looks like that that's USB but uh, let's see so now we're connected to the pine phone we'll turn up the gain So we're doing, this is wired over to the Pine phone, connecting to the Sig Digger server. I may have messed with these uh, uh, colors, I, I, I can't recall. Let's see, we have a look under FFT, you can make some adjustments there as far as the <coughs> rate and colors and the palette and all kind of stuff there 
shown Sig Digger uh, a lot. I really like the application and the um, bandwidth is really efficient it seems when streaming over because it's really just kind of sending over at least in this setup right here best of my understanding is the um, let's see turns down a little bit there we go let's add the game way up there's just a tiny little antenna on the uh, RTL SDR screen locked on there so anyways mainly just wanted to show um, running these remote servers over different uh, hardware and connecting to them with different applications in different ways alright thanks